everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make chicken cordon bleu. Now this is something that everybody does in their own way, but I usually start by doing surgery on my chicken to uh, remove any veins or fatty pieces um, because one, it's gross and two, it makes it easier. Then I'm going to butterfly it. And uh, just like an ex-boyfriend, I shove it into a plastic bag and beat the crap out of it. For legal purposes, that's a joke. Moving on. We're going to set aside some pieces of ham and some baby Swiss. And we're going to roll that up into the chicken. I usually leave a little bit of space at the end because as I roll, it kind of pushes it to the end. Now we are going to make our flour coat. So I'll put some flour, we put some white pepper, some paprika, some garlic, salt, some onion powder, and because I love the taste of it, some coriander seed um, that's been ground up. And then we're just gonna dredge this chicken in that flour and then in a pan we're going to put some butter and let that melt for a minute make sure to clean up your space so that your husband doesn't get mad when he goes to clean up later that's not an argument that we have at all and we're just going to put that chicken into the butter and let it start cooking I usually put the opening down so that it kind of seals itself so that the whole thing doesn't come unraveled. Then we'll flip it. Now, it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through at this point. We're literally just browning the outside and making sure that we have a good seal before we add some white wine. Usually you do chicken stock, but I didn't have any, so I used vegetable stock instead and some heavy cream. And then we're gonna do salt and pepper and add those seasonings again, but instead of doing garlic salt, I did garlic powder, just because I don't need this to be too salty. And we'll cover that. And we'll let it simmer on low for about 30 minutes before we take it off the heat. And we're going to add some more baby Swiss cheese. And I just kind of crumble it up. And this is going to give it so much more flavor. It's going to make the sauce a little bit more cheesy, delicious. We'll let that cheese melt while we take our flour from before. We're gonna put a little bit of that into a bowl with some vegetable stock and make a little bit of a roux because we're gonna thicken this sauce into more of like a gravy. Make sure to mix this well because you don't want any like sand dune puffs anywhere popping up and then Make sure that your liquid is boiling before you do this, otherwise it's not gonna thicken properly. And we're just gonna add this a little bit at a time um, until it's nice and thick. And you can see how nicely that thickened up. Beautiful. And then we're gonna put the chicken back in there and let it hang out for a while while we make our sides because it's going to continue to kind of cook and soften and all those cheeses are going to melt and all the flavors are just going to blend together. It's going to be awesome. For my sides, I am going to do some asparagus because chicken cordon bleu with asparagus is like my favorite combination. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil to our pan along with some butter. And as that melts, we'll wash our asparagus and make sure to cut the woody ends off and save those scraps for your compost. And then we're just gonna Make sure that everything's nice and coated in butter and oil. And we're only going to season with salt and pepper this time because I'm going to use some of that sauce from the chicken as 
kind of like a gravy for this. And I made a fresh rice pilaf just night before last, and we are not trying to waste food in this house. So I decided to go ahead and use up some of those leftovers. Now rice usually gets kind of dry in the fridge, so we're just gonna break it up a little bit. And we'll put it into our pan with some vegetable stock on a low heat uh, for probably like 15 minutes or so, and that will liven that rice right back up again. We don't like wasting anything in this house, so when I can get something used up, I prefer that to just letting leftovers collect in my fridge until they die. We'll let this cook for a little while and then we'll check in in a little bit, here we are. Those asparagus are starting to become nice and tender. That rice is looking nice and lively again, so it's time to plate. I will put my chicken cordon bleu on the plate, along with some asparagus, make sure everything is nice and coated. Add some of that rice pilaf. Make sure to turn off your soap, kids. And then we're going to just drizzle some sauce over everything. And of course, I dropped my ladle in there and this sauce is piping hot. And we're back. I like to cover everything in this sauce because it is so cheesy and delicious and flavorful. My whole family loved this. Even my son was all about it. He ate every strap on his plate. This is what it looked like once I finished plating it up. And of course the inside was so melty and delicious and cheesy. Ugh. Thanks for watching. <laughs>